Hi, my name is Bernard and in this tutorial I want to explain and share my workflow for uh, creating rigs and animations with Mixamo without having the need to rig the character yourself. So you can use any character you've modeled and textured and given materials to apply Mixamo animations and also to apply several animations you can download from Mixamo without losing your precious materials. So before we dive into the tutorial, I want to sketch out the problems that I was facing with my workflow using Mixamo animations for our short film. And the problem is uh, when you create a character uh, in Blender or any, uh, any other uh, DCC, uh, usually have your mesh and the materials already uh, set up for your character and in order to use them for uh, export them to Mixamo uh, you have to use the uh, FBX file format and as you probably know the material data uh, gets lost uh, in the FBX format at best you can maintain uh, texture information but materials get lost. And of course, this in and of itself isn't a problem because when you re-import the animation, you can reapply the materials. But if you have a lot of material slots, uh, this can be quite tedious. <clears throat> and especially if you want to use several different animations as actions uh, in, the, in your character animation, uh, you would have to do basically the reapplying of materials or each and every time so that is not really convenient. So the add-ons that you're gonna need to follow along this tutorial and workflow is the Mixamo add-on for Blender which you can get from Adobe. Uh, it is free and the other one is the awesome mesh data transfer from this guy Mauricio Memoli. Uh, which is also free, but if you find it as valuable as I do, please give this guy a tip for his awesome work. So we start in Blender, where we have our character with our material that we have spent hours of setting up. Of course, I didn't do that because it's the standard Mr. Mannequin from the UE for add-on but let's pretend we spend hours of setting up our material and we don't want to lose that in the process of uh, exporting and importing fbx so make sure that the, the character is facing in negative y direction uh, scale is applied rotation is applied and the feet are just uh, above or on the ground the location is on the world origin. So with that uh, done and assured, let's go to export FBX. And I have made a preset already for uh, everything that works well for the Mixamo export. So we just want to export the mesh. Uh, these settings are fine and we don't want to apply modifiers in case there's subdiv modifiers or anything else which you want to keep. Uh, disable this setting uh, at all cost. We don't have an armature, which we don't need. Um, and with that, let's hit the export button. Let's pretend we have no mesh imported already. You click upload character, select the FBX that we've just exported will take a bit to upload depending on the complexity of the mesh. And if we have the orientation done properly this character is already facing towards us, which is uh, fine. Otherwise you could uh, readjust the orientation to uh, 
what is needed. But again, with these settings that I showed you, everything should be fine as it is. Uh, click Next, and then we have to place the markers according to this uh, example image to the chin, wrists, elbows, knees, and I usually go with this standard uh, skeleton, especially if you want to use or animate uh, fingers or tweak the finger animation afterwards. Uh, it's always good to have the most complex skeleton. Uh, otherwise, if you don't plan to change anything, you could go with uh, a simpler skeleton with no finger animation at all. Uh, if it's really in the background and not visible to the camera in the final shot. Anyway, uh, I use the standard skeleton Click Next, and now the auto-rigging is taking some time to do its magic. And once this is done, we have a preview. And this is looking fine. The fingers are moving correctly. So the rig is seemingly working. Click Next. And then we choose the animation we want to export from Mixamo, which is a punching animation and perhaps receiving an uppercut to the face and another combat animation, whatever. I will use just uh, two animations that I want to export. So uh, that's the punching thing. Um, of course, you can tweak uh, these settings to your liking, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I will just click download. I will use 24 frames per second because my project is running on 25. Um, no big deal, the time difference. Uh, it will play a little bit slower exporting 24, but we can tweak that in Blender if needed. Uh, yeah, we export FBX with skin the frames per second you need for your project or which comes close download and i like to save this in an animations subfolder to where my blender file is so we have our punching animation and I also want the receive uppercut animation. Again, no tweaking for the purpose of the tutorial, same settings. Naming is fine. 